Hey everybody, welcome back to the Utterly Pointless channel. Um, just doing a little bit of follow-up. I was having some fun with a team of mine, uh, the Shadowbringer build that has the Sapphire Drake um, passing on the trait that it has with the trait launcher or improbable, uh, improbable catapult. So um, once that trait does get sent over to the enemy, everybody on that team winds up having that trait and essentially um, one enemy drops like a fly <laughs> um, just every turn and with the anointment uh, even the odds which in regular uh, dungeon runs does knock out the first enemy um, it just makes things really easy and really fun so I think I used up all my brimstone so yeah um just going to um, upgrade some weapons here wait a minute okay i uh, just gotta get some granite yep. and let's see mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's only a uh, couple of buffs here. But what I do when I've got a team like this is I just level up the 30 plus. Uh, and so, whoops. Yeah, Diabolic uh, Intruder has some uh, growing to do here with uh, that brimstone. So I'm going to go ahead and convert that over and I do see that I've got enough crystal uh, to do what I need with spell jumps so I'll just convert this over and yeah do some upgrades here for the fireball computer. Um, I think I would get charged 5,000 it's kind of like a little drawback So I'll just put that couple of upgrades here right into the weapon itself. So, all right. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Meant to do a little bit of spell gem work here. So, uh, there's something about the timeline here. Um, So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just cast Wormhole here. I think that should work, so, um, not too expensive. Um, and as you can see, we're all Chaos except for uh, the first uh, Diabolic Horde that I've got. I'm just going to take a look at Spell Gems and see uh, who has the worst one. So, let's see. Yeah, Stampede just hasn't worked out that well, plus, uh, as more creatures die uh, from other things, um, a lot of times your creatures will end up attacking an empty spot, so I'll take that off as a little bit clumsy, uh, and then what I'll do is um, just change over the um, worm pole here to... spell so um, all right so I use class swap nature and then generous 
and just make it a little bit more defensive. Um, this is all I have to do is get it to happen once. Um, so there we go. All right, so I'll just add that gem right there and oops. So I hope that will make the Drake's uh, trait work anyway. Um, so we're back to a regular uh, realm here. So see if this works, especially with Generous being able to work for any creature whose turn it is. Um, so I'll see if the trait uh, that the Sapphire Drake does have um, can get swapped over anytime during the battle. So go ahead and use a couple of fountains here to get some initial bonuses. All right, and there's the Sapphire Drake anyway. So um, let's see. Oof! Wow. All right, so we're just gonna defend because. Um, I just want to see these creatures do this to themselves. So there we go. I uh, got two creatures knocked out. I mean, we can just defend our way right through the rest of the fight. And there, I think the centaur uh, just wound up knocking himself out. So let's see. Yep. 891 plus thousand damage. So that's a good bit above the usual uh, amount of health here. Oof. My Sapphire Drake got knocked out again. Oof. Wow. I meant to put in some... Uh... Oh, man. Oof. Wow. Well, that was brutal. I meant to put in a uh, Desperate Sacrifice for at least one creature, so... Um... Yeah, wow. Oof, <laughs> that was, that was not fun, but, uh, let's see, do I even have enough currency, um, let's see, um, so, let's see, desperate sacrifice are you in here, alright, yeah, so I'll just disenchant Swap out the chance to attack. We really don't attack for beans the way it looks. Um, so that's where I'll put in my. Uh, class swap chaos. Because uh, I just put in nature stuff. So. Um, let's see. Okay. Yeah, these, uh, for each time, blah, 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 happened. Um, I just don't know why, but they don't really work that much, so, um, there you go. Alright, so I know we all got wiped out that first time, um, and that does happen, I mean, every so often you just run into this enemy dream team that will knock you out of the park uh, really quick <laughs> um, just move on regarding uh, level up your artifacts if you had to but it's a fluke and it's part of the fun of the game as well so just uh, move on take your zero percent uh, treasure bonus and, and just uh, <laughs> go on with another fun run anyway you'll see that I should be doing a little bit better here all right so here I always do grab uh, additional bonuses as fast as possible uh, I try to dodge enemies until I can at least get two to three sometimes it doesn't happen but there we go. Nine 
nice. Alrighty, so... Things are getting back to normal speed here, so... Um, there we are. <laughs> and once you notice that you're not getting any more buffs off a uh, local object like uh, the stars, uh, you can just swap over to getting treasure. Um, so there we go. Everything's attacking nicely. Um, I haven't actually had to swap places uh, for the Drake. Uh, so looks like the build is working out a, a little bit more in my favor. Um, there might still be some times when other creatures wind up getting ahead of it, but it seems like the speed issue has been fixed, so. Alright, we're just gonna defend our way through. And there we go. Not a long fight. Um, so there's a couple more attacks just for yucks anyway. Uh, but as you saw, the uh, mechanic works really nicely, slowly over time, uh, but steadily. It's kind of like a meat grinder anyway. So it looks like just one more creature to grab here. And this is at maximum difficulty too, uh, on the current level. Uh, it's not going back a level to grab any resources, so. The training wheels are off on this build. And looks like everybody is surviving enough. Uh, Sorry about that, I don't mean to sound as hungry as that, uh, cause I'm not, so. Anyway, here's where I'm getting more wealth uh, off these stars, just to, um. Just to kind of rotate things out, especially after I'm fully, uh, buffed on everything, so. So I'm just taking a look at um, what there really is for spells here. I mean, I just don't know what it is, but our team just really does not deal that much damage. I mean, it's most likely a result no. of uh, having the um, um, Shadowbringer specialization, which again doesn't really give your creatures any insane buffs for spell casting and stuff like that um, might be good to maybe use the uh, spell power uh, evoker anointment to get around that uh, which I 
don't believe I have, but let me just double check. Um, but as you can see, I, I mean, this, this one trait being launched over with Shadowbringer just does really devastating amounts of damage um, to pretty much anything. Um, there are some random builds that I run into um, where, yeah, I mean, you're going to wind up losing, I think, due to damage prevention and so on. Uh, but 150% of anything's life total is usually very, uh, very tough to get around. Um, if there is a spark tail in the enemy team, then yeah, you may be able to take uh, extra damage as a result of that, um, but usually it's a one-time amount of damage, so you're not going to have spark tails keep on living unless there's a really nasty uh, life creature fusion. So yeah, I'm just about at the point where I could be putting the macro on defend for everybody. I, I mean, I'm not using any spell gem charges at all per fight. Everything I've got is generous. Um, and again, just waiting for the enemy to do the most damage. Ooh. So this is really one of the more fun builds that I've had. Um, there have been some really good ones like Zante's. Um, corpse explosion uh, build and uh, that one is really vile in the very beginning and I mean it's great for getting through um, a lot of regular floor fights but uh, when it comes to actually having a moment to press buttons and stuff and, and uh, be able to actually experience the fight then this is the most fun one that I've had so far. So there we go, another nice fight, even with a Delta Gargantuan, um, who just takes damage all day, uh, just can't survive that 150% of health uh, coming on its way, especially with it having blighted. So I might actually be able to fight Fryden uh, pretty well with this team. Um, at Gate of the Gods, he, he was always one that was causing a lot of grief for me. Um, just because the only damage that could be done was through Blighted. Um, so, I think that's the entire floor. Um, yep. Okay. So. Alright, yeah, I'll just do a quick Fryden fight and uh, get back to it. Got another project, so um, I'll check to see if there's anything... I can replace for a project and then I can salvage uh, any leftover granite and get that into uh, get that into some, uh, as you can see, underpowered uh, artifacts here. So, uh, whoops, force of habit. Okay, and I'll just check prophecies real quick. looking for anything that resembles a mission. Yep, nothing, spe uh, nothing specific except uh, experiment and read here. So I'll do that. Alright, and I'll go fight a gate of the gods here. And yeah, I had uh, built a really, really fussy uh, Fryden 
build and it was uh, pre uh, 1.1.1 so um, I didn't have Shadowbringer in here so let's see if I can fight it at least at level 5 without getting seriously knocked away uh, but the health boosts that I am getting from the, the Diabolic Horde uh, th those have been a, a really big help so let's see what happens here Things are taking some damage already, so. There we go. <laughs> All right. Well, good. This is a really great Fryden team, then. Call them Heal Team 6. <laughs> I think I'll actually do that in my stable. <laughs> Let's see. Um, just waiting for these guys to finish themselves off here. Yeah, you can basically win just defending. Um, oops. Even at the very end, so. There you go. Let's do that again at level 10. I will probably splash some Graveborn uh, stuff into a fight with Torn with uh, Shadowbringer, but it's looking really good uh, for fighting the other meatheads that are in here. So. Alright, let's see what we can do. Let's just put defense in right there so he can at least be the designated survivor. Um, okay, um, Just put Slate of Rebirth on. Um, but mainly getting those stats up. Last time at level 10, Mr. F. trade on uh, so I'm just gonna defend and uh, yeah there we go okay here comes a big old wipe here so okay 
Okay, I'm just gonna keep using Desperate Sacrifice. Um, keep on defending. So, uh, even with this as a boss fight, um, you're seeing these guys just tear each other apart like uh, they're just paper. <laughs> so, and there goes Mr. F. So. See if I can get the <laughs> greatest amount of health here. Um, there, so I swapped positions with an enemy so they could go ahead and hurry up and heal their teammates and kill them. So that was the first time that I've done a fight with Fryden at level 10 uh, ever. So, whew, that was great. Um, let's see, just do one more, um, yes, check this out, uh, 4080 has a big blue pill too, uh, if I attack or cast a spell then yes, we'll be doing that to ourselves, but, um, so what? I mean, we're just waiting for the healing trait to kick in, so this will probably be one of the faster, uh, false, uh, faster avatar fights that I've had. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not for the right reasons, but... Oh. But again, that's luck of the draw. if I had um, Azure or Azure. Oh man, no, 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 no. Oh wow. Oh. That was bad. I might even have to change everybody's personality to defensive at that rate. Um. can't cast spells, huh? This one's pretty pussy too, I mean, everybody's got a debuff, big deal. Um, so hopefully this can be my final use of keys here in a good way. Uh, I think I'm one for six now. Uh, one for five at least, so. sacrifice all right now we're gonna test this out uh, here's wormhole that I've been using to swap things so uh, I will get the Drake at the top and I think that just showed everybody getting their healing breath Whew. good all right so there you go wormhole works everybody's just gonna defend uh, considering how nasty it is here, and then we got all those turns in red as enemy turns. So, sayonara. <laughs> I just love the fact it's 150% of health. It's not just, you know, okay, 
you know, you get full health healed. It's like, no, if you've got any kind of gimpy defenses, they're going to be smashed uh, when it comes to healing you. It It's basically... Uh, <laughs> here. <laughs> get to the top of the timeline. <laughs> So it's essentially killing him with kindness. So that's been this uh, daily episode of the uh, Utterly Pointless channel inside Serial Limb. So I hope you like that and hope there's not too much time taken because uploading these things after so many minutes just takes forever. So have a great day and see you for next time.